I just want to say I hope that everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. The food was delicious. You were able to spend time with your families and all of your loved ones. And uh, of course, it's about it's about time to be Black Friday shopping now. So get ready for that. But guys, I know on everybody's mind, we want to know what's going on in India. Is Shiba Inu coin going to be banned? Is cryptocurrency going to be banned? Or is this just regulation that's out there? What's going on with the bill over there? And that's exactly what we're going to be answering in this video. Now, I do want to give a shout out to, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but Aditya, thank you very much for messaging me on Instagram, giving me some information about the ban or about this, not a ban, but a regulation, the bill that's in parliament over there in India, and what it could mean for Shiba Inu coin, because there's a lot of confusion, and it always helps to clear up that confusion. So, if this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay, I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro, we are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know where to buy Shiba Inu coin, you can use the link in the description for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account, a $100 deposit is going to get you at least two free stocks and then any $1 crypto trade is going to get you at least $5 in free Shiba Inu coin. And if you don't live in the US, you can use the international Binance link down in the description below and then the reward there is percentage based so the more you trade the more you're going to earn now guys what we have on the table for shiba inu coin is not a ban in india uh it, it, it could potentially ban a couple coins but it's not a an overall cryptocurrency ban now we need to discuss this because there is a lot of confusion surrounding you know what's going to happen with shiba inu coin will people be able to buy shiba inu coin in india well, first, let's just kind of set this scene. What does the Indian cryptocurrency market look like? There are an estimated 15 to 20 million cryptocurrency holders in India. That does not mean that all of those people hold Shiba Inu coin. Certainly, it's going to be spread out through all kinds of different cryptos. But with 15 to 20 million people, that is a very large amount of crypto holders. Not large in, in comparison to the billion plus people that live in India, but certainly a large amount of crypto holders in the crypto world. Next, the amount of money. There's roughly 10, and this is also estimated, right, based on, on what's going on out there. $10 billion in India is being invested in cryptocurrency right now. So this is big news. This is big news, and especially for people who are interested in Shiba Inu coin that live in India and that don't live in India as well because we know with a market that size, any sort of regulation, any sort of ban could trickle down and affect the overall market and, and make its way down to Shiba Inu coin. So knowing and setting the stage for, for the crypto holders in India, what does the ban look like? What does this law look like that is it potentially going to be passed? So what they want to accomplish, what the Indian government wants to accomplish is a regulation of the cryptocurrencies that are out there in order. This is their end goal. Their end goal is to create a digital asset or a digital currency for the Reserve Bank of India. Now, of course, they want to promote this over Bitcoin, over Ethereum, over Shiba Inu coin, and over all other cryptocurrencies. But the main goal is to have a Reserve Bank of India digital asset. So in order to do that, they think that they need to get their hands on and be able to control or regulate and potentially ban the other cryptocurrencies. Now, we know that that word there, that private, all private coins will be banned with the exception of a few. So we need to make a distinction between what is a private currency or a private cryptocurrency and a public cryptocurrency. Now, at first, okay, there was a lot of speculation going around that private coin meant anything that was not owned by the Reserve Bank of India. Shiba Inu coin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of these were speculated to be what India wants to ban. That is not true. Private coins are things like Zcash, Monero, and these, these other chains or these other coins where the blockchain blocks or encrypts the wallet holders so that you can't see who, who holds and who sends what coin to who and so on. Monero and Zcash, guys, if you don't know too much about them, they're, they are privacy coins and they, they kind of pride themselves on that. You can't go in there, see who's the owner of what wallet, what transactions are taking place from wallet to wallet, unless, of course, you, you, I don't know, specify that you want that to be taking place. 
So that level of privacy, and I don't know, people have their theories on why these coins could be good uh, or why they could be bad. We're not going to jump into that, but that's what India is looking at banning and regulating there. They want to make sure, and at the end of the day, it, I believe it's a good thing. Shiba Inu coin is not on the list of private coins. Okay, if you want to go out and look at any wallet right now, you can see the transactions that are taking place in any of those wallets uh, using Etherscan. So it is it is not considered one of the private cryptocurrencies. Shiba Inu coin will not be one of the cryptocurrencies that is banned because of this. However, the regulation that takes place, I don't know to what extent they're going to be regulating the crypto market in each individual crypto coin. The overall goal is to make the, the Reserve Bank of India's digital asset kind of the king of digital assets in India. I can understand where they're coming from, and I can understand that they would like to you know, put a ban or, or regulate these other coins in some way that they could build that up. But, oh, man, it gets, it gets, so, it gets so tricky sometimes because the words they tend to use when they try to make you think that it's all about protecting you and protecting you from these massive gains that you can see in coins like Shiba Inu coin and, and all of these other meme coins that are out there. They act like they're trying to protect you from yourself, but we really know that they're trying to build themselves up. But I hope this kind of... I know it was a very fast video. I know it might have been a, you know, a little here and there, but I hope this kind of sheds a little bit of light onto the fact that you know, if you take anything away from it, it's not a ban on all cryptocurrencies. This law or this, this bill in India is not a ban on all cryptocurrencies. It's simply a potential regulation. I say potential because it has not been passed yet. It has not been signed into law. November 29th, I believe, based on what I was reading, okay, is when they're going to sit down and discuss this. I, I, I'm not a lawyer in India. I don't understand, you know, if that's the day that India will pass this, if Shiba Inu coin is going to be affected on November 29th and so on. But that's the day that is kind of being pointed out as to when things are going to start rolling with this. So November 29th, keep an eye out for that. It is not an overall ban. It is simply a regulation. Shiba Inu coin should theoretically not be affected. The privacy coins are the ones that should be affected. And I, I believe that is a in a summary. And once again, to kind of talk about the Indian crypto market, we've got 10, 15 to 20 million crypto holders with a, a total holding of around $10 billion. But guys, I want to know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think about this? Do you think it's okay that they're trying to regulate cryptocurrency? Do you think they will be able to regulate cryptocurrency? And do you think Shiba Inu coin is going to make its way out and be just fine? Let us know down there if that button's still red. You know what to do. Click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, let's see, we will Binance Gemini down in the description. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.